Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Builds and in today's video we're going to be converting this old antique sign to take an LED lamp so that way it's more energy efficient and still functional. Coming up. Now obviously the first thing we want to do is gut the old parts out of the fixture which I'm about to do here and uh, what we have is two starters two uh, light sockets, two ballasts, actually it's four light sockets and two ballasts. And I am removing every single bit of that so that way we can get just one light socket in there. And what I'm going to be doing is putting in an Edison light socket. Uh, and then we're just going to wire it back up and we're going to mount it to the wall. Now, as you can see here, I am, like I said, slowly gutting all the sockets and all the unnecessary components that are inside of this out of it right now as none of that is going to be needed for the future conversion and then now what you see there is i am putting in an edison based light socket and i will have a link in the description of this video below i got that off of amazon uh really quick and easy to install it's already pre-wired all i had to do is uh, i had to drill one extra hole on the back of it for the mounting but once it's mounted it's uh plug and play and ready to go you just hook up your wires and you're done which you can see i'm doing here i'm just adding some extension wires onto it so i can have a, a long enough reach to go out the back of the fixture so that way i can actually fit it to mount to my wall and have the wires go inside of the four round or, or four square box anyway that it's mounted to in my wall uh, and i was really pleased with the outcome of this and there we have it, one <laughs> extremely nice looking conversion kit to LED for an exit sign. Uh, now it's very functional and efficient and easy to maintain. And there she is mounted on the wall in all her full glory. Don't forget, if you need to know what, what tools I used or what parts I used to do this conversion, I will have links in the description and in the comments section of this video below. But anyway, that's all for today's video. So thank you for coming to Bevan's Builds. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below. And we'll see you next time on Bevan's Builds.